everybody. This is our Easter ham. We are actually a week past Easter. I was really sick at the last of the six people in the family here. And so we decided to have our Easter dinner this Saturday after. Uh, it's a really, really gorgeous day. It's going to be like 70 some degrees outside. A little windy, but nothing we can't handle. So we have our ham in here. This is a pre-cooked spiral ham. Um, you can use a uncooked uh, ham if you'd like. I just picked this one out because it looked good. So, all right. So the first thing I did is I went on and put some cloves, whole cloves, kind of stuck them in the in the ham throughout. Parts of it, of course, since it's pre-cooked, is kind of hard, but um, most of it worked out all right. Uh, my son just uh, is finishing up putting the finishing touches on our brown sugar. We actually make our own brown sugar, and we have a recipe for that on our blog. And my husband actually may have a video on that already, so you never know. Uh, I think we're just about done. <clears throat> Glass bowls are great for this because you can turn them up and look underneath and see if there's any parts that haven't gotten done. Oh, and lo and behold, yes, there are. <laughs> so we're going to finish that up. Um, then we're going to put it on top of our ham. So let's go ahead and bring that over. You can actually, unless it's in the bowl, maybe make it easier to stir the rest of it in. So. And we're just going to put some of that all over our ham. Yeah, that's yeah just uh, put it on the ham. Oh. <laughs> there is no easy way to do this. Um, actually, he's probably doing it the hard way with a fork. But um, you just put ham, or I mean uh, sugar, all over the top of the ham. Take your fingers. <laughs> Show it some love. Yep. And this is going to wash off. Most of it's probably going to wash off anyway, but oh, well. some of it will stay on after we put the pineapple in. Put some more over in there. There you go. I'm going to teach this boy to cook yet. All right. So, don't don't splatter. Use a towel. Okay. Next step we're going to do is we're going to take our pineapple slices and some toothpicks. We're going to hook those pineapples all over the ham. This gives it a nice little sweet element to it. And the pineapple juice does not go to waste. It actually, we just dump it right in with the ham itself. All right, here we go. Toothpick it in so it doesn't crawl away from us. You don't have to overlap if you don't want because it's going to be awful tall anyway. Mm, probably. Yeah. Daddy will probably squish it down and... Lovely. My phone decides it wants to ring. And we will call them later. All right, so once we get the pineapple on, um, you can put a little bit more brown sugar on top of it if you want, kind of help with caramelization. You don't have to because it pretty much does its own. Um, we're going to put some orange juice all over the top of that. Is it good? Yeah, yeah, we got a spot right there. Got a naked spot. Alright, that looks pretty good. How many pieces are left? Uh, like, like two. Use them up. Throw them in there. Hang them wherever you can hang them. Waste not, want not. Huh? Huh? <laughs> we don't want anything to go to waste. Alright, let's put one on this side over here. A little spot over here saying, I need, I need some pineapple. Anyway, right there, it's fine. Great, awesome. No way to mess this up. Excellent. All right. All right. So we're gonna throw some orange juice over the top. This is a recipe my mom passed down to me. <laughs> it's all right. It's just it's grandma. She's persistent. Here. All right. Let's go ahead and throw some orange juice. Just pour orange juice over the top of it. There's no right or wrong to this. Um, we, we need the moisture in the in the orange juice. That's good. I don't wash too much of my stuff away. All right. Here. So and then. We put some ginger ale over the top of that. Get a little fizz. Instead of putting water, which can be very bland, and you know you want something that's going to give a little bit more flavor to it, so lemon lime soda. You can use. We've used um, squirt. We've used other things. So we just. My mom used always did this. That's good. All right, and there's that. Awesome. Looks good. Let's throw a little bit more brown sugar, Mikey, in the in some of the crevices of the no 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 no. now we have a little more delicate now we're gonna put it in the middles of the pineapples there we go 
And then we're just gonna leave it. Ow! Mind the toothpicks. Stupid toothpicks. <laughs> And we may have a video of this already from way back, probably a good two or three years ago. Um, but we just figured we'd do another one, just kind of update it up a little bit. All right. Oh, nice little sprinkle touch. Hey, look at that. Creative juice is flowing. All right. And there you have it. Now the only thing we're going to do now is get them on the coals and get it cooking for a while. Again, this is pre-cooked, so we're not going to cook it for as long. As you would a normal one, probably cook it for a couple hours, hour and a half, two hours, and then it should be done. In fact, it may even be done less than that, hour, hour and a half. So we'll check it about every hour, um, see if it's done. If it needs more coals, we'll add some. So we'll bring it back when uh, we get to that point. Oops, we forgot. One of the things we uh, mentioned earlier was that we don't waste the pineapple juice. And, of course, we did. So now we're going to go back through and pour it over the top. With There you go. A little more moisture for the... Uh, caramelization of the caramelization. caramelization jeez I caught an accent all of a sudden caramelization of those pineapple and brown sugar so there we go all right now we'll bring you back to the next step all right well there's uh, the ham I'm going to be using something different today than briquettes we have a whole bunch of we have two bags of these uh, wood chips and I'm going to use those to make the ham well, it's hot. Um, this stuff's more poppy. It pops quite a bit when it's burning. On a windy day, day like this, I hope it's not a problem. I hope you can hear me on a windy day like this. Yeah, we'll be back later and see how it looks. All right. Well, I put some more coals on it because uh, these these uh, coals were kind of interesting. And, uh, well, let's just say, uh, uh, you know that rustic uh, flavor I had a while ago for the ice cream? Yeah. But only the top's burnt, so the rest should be just fine. Looking good, though. Get it inside. Absolutely. Thanks for watching.